I had so much fun with the low tide confession yesterday that I thought I would give you another fun confession. This time, I was donating blood in high school. I wanted to be a good Samaritan and donate my blood for a good cause. However, I made the decision to donate blood without really reading the information guide they provided us. With a few guidelines and rules for donating blood, I arrived to donate my blood the morning of without eating breakfast or having a good meal the night beforehand, and I arrive ready to donate and share my blood. To set the scene, we were sitting on reclining chairs that would just recline backwards, just to help if you felt nauseous at all. So I go through the entire question guide, and I'm finally in sitting down and having my blood drawn so I can donate it. But all of a sudden, after I've filled up the blood bag, I start to feel very nauseous. I informed the woman who stabbed me with the needle and took my blood that I was feeling a bit sick. So she handed me a vomit bag and laid me back in the recliner chair. Still reclined in the seat, I realize I'm going to vomit. I look next to me and I see the sitting area where people were eating snacks and high sugary drinks so that they would be able to give their blood and not to get sick. And I turn over and look at the nurse and inform her that I'm about to upjaw. She quickly sits me up in the recliner and I vomit in the vomit bag. Now this bag is a bright red bag that has the biohazard sign on it. So I'm vomiting in front of my peers who are eating their snacks, getting ready to donate their blood. After I threw up all the bile, because I didn't eat breakfast, I feel a lot better. So I grab the throw-up bag, and I hug it to my chest. And I recline back in the seat. Mind you, I still was holding the vomit bag. So the moment I reclined in the seat, I dumped the entire vomit bag all over me. The nurse turned around. She said, oh no, as vomit fluids were splashing on the floor. I turn to the right and I see my peers who are eating their snacks and they all have their mouths covered in shock. And I look over at the nurse and she gives me a napkin and starts dabbing as much vomit off of me as she can. After I was finally cleared to leave the blood donation area, I called my mom to come pick me up and I walk through the halls reeking like vomit, feeling nauseous, and had my mommy come pick me up and take care of me. But I was a good Samaritan and I donated blood. Just got sick in the process.